Holy shit, the History's Hyenas boys are in the building. Yes. yes. Yanni Pappas, Giannis is here, Chrissy D. Yes. How you doing, Let's everybody? Let's go. Let's We're do it. here. We're queer. <laughs> yeah. You guys are super gay. Yes. <laughs> you might be the only two guys gayer than me than me and him on the, the internet. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with me. Is and Giannis, we're in the same boat. I'm the not, gay one. I'm not a. I'm not a hundred percent. It's gay. Rosie O'Donnell's cruise. I, I'm not a hundred percent gay, but I'm not a hundred percent straight. No, right? no, That's no. what it is. So I can tell. I fall in love with men, but I have sex with women. So you take that how you want. Yeah. But I That's definitely like girls. But it's like if you're gonna sit here and be like, "Are you a straight guy?" It's like no, <laughs> no. We say, but his, I ain't gay either. His, definitely not. <laughs> his sexuality, like some people are gay, some people are straight. Uh, Chris is one hundred percent disturbed. <laughs> Sexuality, sexuality is disturbed. Yeah. That's one that like it comes in around here a lot. We're like, oh, who do you, like who's your dream girl? Who's like the hottest girl in Hollywood? I'm like, I don't know. Ask me who's a hot guy. I'm like, you got an hour? Yeah. Go, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, like, Ryan Reynolds. Like, we got Ryan Gosling. Like, <laughs> if you ask me, like, who would I pay a million dollars to kiss on the lips? The answer is Tom Hardy. <laughs> That's what it is. So it's just Tom Hardy, that little pint sized fuck. I'll get right at his lips immediately. Yeah. I, yeah, sure. I want to make out with Rosario Dawson and other beautiful yeah. women, but it's like Tom Hardy just looks like he smells good. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched that piece of shit movie with fucking Reese Witherspoon and Chris Pine, I think, a oh, hundred times. For Chris Pine. Just for both of them. I mean, yeah. it's both of them. It's yeah. like they're Absolutely. Like, it was it uh, Ready for War or something like that? Something about war. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a terrible movie, but it's a fucking awesome movie because the guys in there are so hot. Dude, the only way I get, like, <laughs> truly super hard is if I listen to, like, a really intellectual man. Like, we did an episode on History Hyenas with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I was rock fucking hard. Like, it was hurting my balls. Yeah. And I went home and I immediately tried to have sex with a woman. Yeah. I wasn't available, so yeah. I just jerked off to you Tom Hardy. Just, you sat, you're just a gay man who's waiting for his dad to die to come out of the closet. I got <laughs> what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I got huge triceps from pushing down the gay. <laughs> when you talk about that where it's like, like, like I've reached a stage in my like porn watching career where I'm like, I'll throw a fucking dude search in there. Oh, like, 100%. Man, well, for I exclusively oh, yeah. search male oh, porn sites. Dude, we did, we did we did research. We did a neuroscience research on our podcast, and it said that guys who watch trans porn, him who like that. <laughs> It's 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 actually it's not gay at all because what we're most attracted to as men is big dicks and big tits. Yeah. Right. So you a get trans everything. person's yeah. got a huge dick and big titties. That's Yo, yeah, what yeah. we like. I mean, it excites listen, our minds. Yeah. That's old hat. That's yeah. old news. Tranny porn is way straighter than regular. Yeah. Porn. It's just more <laughs> boobs and ass and shit. It's not, just an extra yeah. dick. In if there, I'm having sex, whatever. if I'm having sex with someone who's trans and she's pre-op. And uh, I just, in your mind, to make it not gay, if you're doing it doggy style, you just pretend like your dick was so big it popped through the other side. You know? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Yeah. That's yeah. all it is. That's what it is. You just got to yeah. use your imagination. 100% yeah. disturbed. 100% yeah. disturbed. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. and you got a decent sized dick. You got about seven inches, you said, right? <laughs> no. Who, me? You six or seven? No, no. I'm I'm six and uh, I'm uh, uh, six with a lie. Six with a lie. <laughs> so okay. six yeah. With, I'm, I, yeah, I'm six with a lie. So your dick's like my license where it says yeah. six two. Six two, yeah. yeah. It's like my I'd license. Say I'm, I'm like five and three quarters, but with Air Max on, my dick is six. Six is six. <laughs> Air yeah. Max will take you like another inch. And I, I'm about, I, I would say I'm about six. Seven inches, eight with warts. That's what it is. <laughs> Cause you got a seven inch piece. That's a pretty decent. Do you piece. really no, got, got seven a, inches? Not a woman has never told me that she's had a problem with my dick. Well, but never. No, no, that's no, but that's cool. different than seven inches, dude. Seven no inches one's ever said that to me either. But I don't have a seven. I got inch a seven dick. inch piece. I got pictures of it on my phone. I can pull it right out. Let's take yeah. a look. Yeah. I can pull out my fucking. I would. Pie. I mean, I'd love to see it. I would <laughs> absolutely love I to see your dick. Pull it right out, yeah. fellas. I mean, wow. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, it just does. We're off to the races. We're off to the fucking races on KFC Radio. That's what it is. Let me just find it. I got it saved in my in uh in my gift. How's your job my security gift. here? Are you, you guys got safe? Yeah, we're like, good. We're he's good. pulling out his dick. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna find it in a second. Okay. Uh, they, yeah, they, it's a nice, it's a nice fucking nice. Now, now before I see it, he's got to You go, a, you go hard dick pic. You go, you go three quarters. You're you about go. to see, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you before you show us, let me just tell you the type of disturbed Chris kid Chris is. Before I really knew him, like we kind of knew each other, like. We, he sent me a pic of his dick before, like, we had a full conversation. I have to know if I could trust you or not. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, show it to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, legally show can, it to the can camera. I? Go ahead. Yeah? <laughs> Barstoolgold.com slash KFC. That's a Coke can in his pants. That's yeah. what it is, fellas. <laughs> That's a fucking zucchini. That looks That's like, an eggplant. That looks That's like it. three wheels. I think, I think you're undersselling yourself here, That's like ten. <laughs> yeah. And that, is that hug. full? That's full. That's yeah. full wood. But that, are you also grabbing your balls at the bottom there? Or is that uh, all shaft? Because no, when I do that exact picture, I, I grab the balls and try to make so, it look like I don't a dick. know, but I'm I'm definitely I'm full wood because I listened to an Obama speech. So, <laughs> this guy's, this guy's real smart. 
Yo, Chrissy yeah. D and the D stands for fucking <laughs> dick, yeah. dude. No, no, no. no. Yeah. So it's what no it is. No wonder you walk around all this confidence, cracking these yeah, jokes yeah. and shit. I mean, yeah. You got you a, got you got a, a big fucking log in there. there. You just go in there and you have a good time. I'll be honest, that's borderline inconvenient. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want that yeah, big of a dick. I remember in high school I had this kid who was on the hockey team. And like, I mean, he had like a fucking Pringle can. And I was like, dude, what the fuck? Is that like that makes no sense? <laughs> and he's he was like, yeah, like this hot chick in, in our school. I, was like, I tried to fuck her in the jacuzzi this weekend, and just like she was like, no. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I was like, all right, yeah. I was like, I'm done. Yeah, like you run it, you must run into problems. Who's fucking the jacuzzi? You're gonna get meningitis. Yeah, I mean, yeah. seventeen year olds, Chris. That's who's fucking. <laughs> yeah, kids who haven't heard of STDs and like stuff like idiots. that. Yeah. I uh, I used to work uh, in college. I used to work at a health club, and they had a hot pool and like a. Uh, and gay guys actually, they have ways that they communicate, and some of it would be like leaving shit or something like that to let them know like that another gay guy's there. It was weird signs. Wait, wait, wait. I could, wait. you know, my like manager could have been lying to me. Little bread comes around the <laughs> yeah, place. Yeah, like, like, like would take you know. a shit pebble and put it there, and it's kind of like. Wait, when you say shit, you mean, you mean actual, like, literal actual shit? shit? Yeah. Interesting. What? Yeah. They I think meant like they're fucking keys. Yeah. No, like some like, shit. No, it's like actual shit. <laughs> he could have been lying to me though. He could have been lying. The gay community is a wild, a yeah. wild community. You know about bug chasing? No, do tell. Let me tell you about bug chasing. This is, okay, this is going to be learned, and it's a it's a movie about his own life. He's pitching. yeah, it's a real. I'm Chrissy the bug chaser. So it's 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 when a guy has sex, unprotected, bareback, raw deezy sex with another guy who he knows has, has HIV. Has chasing the bug? Yeah. Has, has the bug, and they, if they get off by chasing the HIV bug. Yeah. Whether they get it or not, they don't care. It's yeah. about coming, uh, about the thrill of the bug. Yeah. What? Oh, it's wild. That's like the, the most dangerous game that's, on 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought, yeah, I got like humans on the bug. That's dick, what man. they do. Yeah. yeah, that's what they do. But they're curing it. Yeah. Like curing HIV. I mean, yeah, listen, I will get a blowjob I'll, I'll chase from the bug a girl right now. that has that a pimple anywhere on her body. Like, not even, she can have a pimple on her back. I'm like, it could be her I'll I'll see Raise the burden. Let's put this off a week yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. I'm more, I'm more, <laughs> I'm more scared of bed bugs than HIV at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. HIV's fake. That's fine. Uh, hey, bed fake. bugs are like they're my new pregnancy scare. Yeah. Like every night I'll wake up and I'll be like dry skin from the fucking heat or something yeah. like that. Like bed bugs. Yeah. Bed bugs. Automatic. Disaster. You I'm can't like, get them out. Quiet. How about you? STD shaming when you you walk around with an STD like every other week yeah, all day every day Chrissy, <laughs> but, but no. yet you won't touch a girl who has a pimple get Chrissy, out of here you Chrissy hypocritical Chlamydia, fuck. I stay, Chrissy Chlamydia I stay drippy um, no but actually the to be honest God. with you eight weeks man I've been eight weeks celibate um, uh, by God, choice or by, by choice you know, no by choice I mean, with I was that like, hammer of course I was like choice. you know what I fucking uh, you know one too many times after you get chlamydia the second time you're like this is disgusting yeah, enough, what enough, are you right? doing like grow up you're in your mid 30s you got a family stop with the drippy yeah. so i've been eight weeks celibate i did get a blowy in denver but what can you do um no no p and v uh and the next time i go p and v it will be it will be with a condom i'm now christy condoms no formerly way Christy chlamydia yep wow not formerly be, yeah. like, hey, like christy christy like jordan on the wizards yeah, yeah, yeah man yeah, so different. yeah, yeah so i'm wearing number 45 now <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. dude especially when you're strapping a, a condom on that thing. that's yeah. not gonna no, be God, fun man. i go magnum babies you gotta you go must. maggie's <laughs> gotta go maggie's yeah i mean somebody oh, i i, I I have, uh, like, we had in, in uh, middle school, one of, like, the um, sex ed teachers taught us, taught the girls, like, yeah. just so you know, ladies, like, if he says the condom doesn't fit, he's lying, and she put the whole thing on her forearm, yeah. and she did that with a regular condom, so since then I've been like, fuck, dude, with magnums, you don't even need that shit. You don't even need that shit. Yo, I, I saw Miss Kitchen put that shit down no, on her fucking armpit, I'll be, I'll, you don't need that. I'll be honest with you, I always put the magnum on, but I always am holding the bottom of it. <laughs> when, 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 when she's on top of me, I'm just like, I just to make swag. sure you, it fits, but it doesn't fit. It's not a great fit, but it doesn't fit. You I put it on, then pull out a clothes pin and just, yeah, just yeah. in the back. Just tape it down. I'm like, you have duct tape, babe? <laughs> I, did it, I did it once in college just to kind of be like, I could wear a Magnum. I was fucking a trash man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, couldn't yeah. even feel a vagina. Flapping in just the wind. Coming in and out of yeah. Yeah. this just, fucking hefty bag. It's funny because I think every, every guy tries one on at some point. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, just even if you know you're not getting in it, you yeah. just you just want to you want to hope that you can. <laughs> and then your dick just looks like left eye from fucking... <laughs> from, <laughs> from, TLC? Yeah, TLC? TLC. R.I.P. The, yeah. the one who lit Andre Ryzen's house on yeah, fire. Yeah. Oh, that's God. a bad bitch. That's a bad bitch. Did you guys ever jerk off in condoms? 
Um, did I ever jerk off I in a condom? That, yeah. yeah. No. No. I, no. But You're I don't live. You haven't off, lived yet. I don't jerk off like this. I make my, in a guy's ass vagina asshole. my yeah. thumb, <laughs> and I lay down. I lay down and I lay my dick on my stomach and I rub the. Shut shit the that's how I jerk off. Up. It's wild. It's you know, that's it's not wild. like how I jerk you off. You jerk it's off like, wrong. It's like yeah. a fucking eternal shell. That's what I like to do. You rub your dick against your own belly, and then I come into my belly. I come in my belly button. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, you is your throat. It depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit! Why do you do that? I don't know. Because I think I used because I'm disturbed because I used to I used to the when I first started uh, jerking off or whatever I was 10 years old I would rub a pillow on okay. my dick and like hump the pillow and then I just started using my well, hand listen, I don't jerk off like this that's weird but you, you can't beat this guy what when, do we got when, he, when he first started oh yeah the first time I did it it was like I mean I was fucking chill why not yeah you just gotta the, do it like, again go to Barstool Gold and watch it. this so yeah. I, I mean like, he wasn't even close I was, so. on my, I was on my bathroom floor yeah and I was like this. And then I had my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Legs overhead, reaching around his own thighs. Oh my god! Could you imagine him? being your wow. dad walking into that, yeah. being like, "What the fuck? It's what are like, you kids what do you into mean? these I'm just days?" Waiting for a guy to come in and plug in the other <laughs> hole. Plug it in. I don't know why. Is this like, how everyone jerk off? I'd seen I'd seen one porn ever, and it was I was at my buddy's house. His dad had a black box. We were watching WrestleMania, and then like the black box broke just in the middle of it, and. Porn, porn came on sure and it was like kind of both of us like we we're probably like seven both of us like <laughs> i mean i'll change it if you want to change it. yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> watch porn and it was is anal porn so i just thought that was the way you fought yeah. for a right. long yeah. time yeah. i just thought like you just fucking the ass that's the yeah way it is. That's, that's, how that's where babies are made <laughs> that's the whole you, you just use. shit them right out <laughs> <laughs> but the girl was like that and like i, I don't know i just thought like at Anyone who's doing any fucking should be on their back with their legs up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what, I fucking finished though. <laughs> the first time you had sex, you were just in that position. You're like, wait, you want me to strap on a dildo? <laughs> really it's fun. It's like you're jerking off with an invite. You're <laughs> There's an open there's an opening here. And I, I think I was shooting blanks too, so I was like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Just trying to peek because I figured that's how yeah. you get the come out. God, talk that about making mess. it more complicated than it needs yeah, to be. Really. That's guys it. all pretzled up. This is how you do it, though. right? It's just like fucking grab it and hammer it up and down. Stroke it. I know, Christ. I know. I know. At any point you have a hunch, like, hey man, I'm do I'm doing too much here. Yeah, I woke up with a sore back. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up the next morning like I'd fucking you're like doing deadlifts. Yeah, you're like, like you're like hey, <laughs> you're like hey, do you have any icy hot? They're like why? You're like jerking off. I was jerking off. So you know, I had to have kids on the back of the bus. Be like, you did what? You I was like, no, no, I was just playing. I was just playing. It was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> I don't like know when you with your girl at a certain point, like you guys jerk off in front of each other because it's hot. Like let's jerk off. <laughs> did you the first time you were your girlfriend like let's jerk off and she started playing with herself and you were like let's do it. And you're like, <laughs> Oh, that's right. You, I'm glad to know you know how to do it. Perfect. <laughs> she was like, yay. Fucking uh, throw your legs oh, back. Oh, God. Well, all right, let's start the interview. <laughs> we'll start it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's God, gracious. We were, we, off to the race we, were we, we got a new podcast that we signed to our team, and uh, it's these funny black guys, million dollars worth of game, and they, they call us the Spicy Boys because we're super gay. Sure. <laughs> and if they listen to this episode, I mean, we're full yeah. jalapeno Beyond at this point. Gay. Jesus. Beyond yeah. gay. Oh, do, they, oh, do they do it out of the New York office? Those no, kids? they're from Philly. They oh, just Philly joined guys. up. It's like their first yeah. week, and they they right. came in here, and they were just like, you spicy. <laughs> you spicy. Took yeah. me a couple times to realize nope. that meant gay, and then I was like, yep, yeah, you're right. That's what it is. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? You so, uh, yeah, I mean, picture. God made that's, me this That's way, why whatever. people. This is why people shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 definition yeah. of why people yeah. shit. How about this? You fuck uh, uh, like a flashlight or a toy or anything like that? You never do done that. that. <laughs> no. I've never fl fucked a flashlight. My boy, Mike Cannon, fucks flashlights. Yeah, right he's doing right under the bus. Yeah, he got sponsored by them once for his no comedy. Way. Yeah, that's how much he would talk about it on stage. <laughs> Mike Listen, Cannon. if there's sponsorship dollars, I'll start fucking doing this publicly. I mean, I'll stop shaming it because I've done it once. Didn't care for it. No, I don't love it. I don't love the pocket pussy. And now I have it. Like I just never used it again, so I never cleaned it so it's yeah. just under my bed yeah it has to just reek of yeah. like old gum it's gotta yeah. be did you not even clean it no i yeah. didn't clean it because uh, i knew i was never gonna use it again so i was yeah. like fuck this thing Put i mean the there, on, there's like a dude. baby's gonna grow out of that man like an <laughs> yeah. alien's gonna come out of there a human life is being born <laughs> like if I get life robbed, uh, I finds a way i don't have a gun i'm just gonna throw a fucking <laughs> flashlight that flashlight would probably work better i'd be like all right i'm out of here <laughs> yeah. yeah holy yeah. shit all right um so i did fuck a vix vapor rub once yeah that's just wild this kid did that it's a true story that could not felt good no it was i was just out of pure curiosity you know like the jar it comes in the jar yeah so i just started fucking it feels good 
Because I want to see. I was like, is the burn going to be good? Like, feel good? You you live on yeah. the wild side, it man. Was, it's the opposite of that. It really <laughs> yeah. was a bad experience. You, it and was you a went bad. into that thing raw, huh? Yeah. I, and went, that, and I feel you, like that's you, more you dangerous than chasing the bug. I fucked the jar. That is. So like, did that you get baby rub just get That's worse than chlamydia. Yeah. Like, yeah. Top. like it comes yeah, yeah, yeah. in the jars. Like, right, right. No, but I'm saying, so like your tip went right in? Yeah. Because like, you know, when you get the shampoo in there, when you're when you're young and stupid, you jerk off a shampoo and the soap gets in and it burns. I didn't. The Vicks Vapor Rub, nothing. I mean, I feel like that there. Yeah. I didn't think it out. Like, if I'm fucking a Vicks Vapor Rub, I'm definitely not thinking, is this going to go in my pee hole? <laughs> yeah. I haven't thought anything through. No, so no. you're right. You are kid. correct, sir. Some got in my pee hole. It was, it was brutal. Yeah. I mean, it burns for a long time. And that's like Vaseline-ish too, right? Yes. So I, you I, when you like start to wash Vaseline off, it doesn't even work. The no, water no, starts no, no, beating and up. It's, it's your, like your fucking urethra. Yeah, bro, right. it was bad. Oh, it's like when you got rain on your windshield. Bad. You put oh. the, <laughs> the Vaseline on your dick, the water ain't off. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't end up with you in the hospital. Yeah. No, it was bad. I mean, it was bad. You said those kids at camp who would go around and like be like, "Who give me five bucks to put icy hot on my dick or something like that?" Like, even no. those kids weren't crazy. They'd be like, "Want to see me fuck this paper ice?" Like, no, I, I, I can't, man. I understand why kids do all types of crazy stuff though, because it's like. You got this penis, it gets hard. Then when you realize it starts feeling good, you're like, I gotta put this thing some places. Yeah. <laughs> well, you also, your brain, like, I know now when I'm like cloudy or just agitated, I'm like, oh, I gotta come and like get rid of That's this. What you it know? Is, yeah. When you're like eight and you don't know and your dick's hard, your brain's all fucked up. You don't, you know, and you don't even ah, have to shove yet. it in this fucking yeah. jar, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, whatever, you don't even, get, you don't even yeah. know that just if I get if I get over get this over with, I'll be fine. Yeah, you know? I used yeah. to rub my dick underneath my desk in Catholic school. Did you guys used to do that? I had like a low ranking <laughs> desk. Do not ask that question like anyone has ever answered yes. <laughs> I used to shake it and rub it until I got I had no cum, but I would get like a, a good sensation, and I would always look at the girl next to me, Tiffany, and just I lock, you know, just lock eyes, and, yeah. and then like nothing would come out, and then I would just it was like a early masturbation stuff. Wait, did I'm you? Still a little confused. Yeah, you, so the you, desk, you, I would sit a Catholic school desk. It had like you could put your books in the yeah, desk, yeah. it would come down. The the bond desk would come right, down, so it was right on my legs, and then I would move close up to it as as close as I could, and, and just like back and forth, kind of. But like you have to be, you can't let anybody know what you're doing. So it was All kind right. of just like like. Isometrics where you just like, shake yeah. it, just doing kegels <laughs> on it. But that's how I would come. Uh, but you know, shoot a blank, and then every time I would come, there, there was a girl, Tiffany, who sat in the row next to me. I would just look at her, and that was it. <laughs> she didn't Tiffany. know what I was doing. She thought I was looking over at her. That is like, the yeah, most I'm normal coming. thing happening at that Catholic school. At that well, Catholic school, I, yeah. yeah. I get shout out Saint Matthias. Did you have to go to church? Not good, right? Like, yeah. as, a, as a school, hundred percent. Yeah, Dude, we used to have to go to church every Thursday morning, and without fail, like it's like I would I would cross the threshold into church, go take my seat. Boner. Hard. Hard. <laughs> Hard. And like you start being like, I get the priest now. Oh, dude, like, father, you gotta do something. Dude, I'll never forget. I, <laughs> I was an altar boy. I was an altar boy. I was maybe 12 years old, 11, 12 years old. Father Bill asked me to go up stairs um, in the church to get him a certain kind of robe for the mass. And then he followed me and then I blacked out and I don't remember what happened after that. So it's just one that's a true story and I just have no more memory of it. But then I just remember, you know, ringing the bells for the fucking communion um, on the alt and the church. And then, you know, and listen, maybe I got hit. Maybe I did not But I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't Father Bill. So thank you so much. I'll probably kill myself at 40. But what can you do? One day it's going to come back. It's not going to be good. But hey, everything makes sense now. The first 20 minutes all make sense yep, now. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, history, huh? History, right? yeah. There's a lot of it. We're making it right now. And, uh, yeah, it's great. But I got to admit, the Catholic Church had a good run. I mean, I, I'm not a, even going to talk past tense. I think they're still on a pretty decent yeah, run. They, they make I mean, money. Catholics make yeah. money. Dude, if you're talking Yo, about like. We, we talk about this all the time. The Notre Dame. Notre Dame caught on a little bit of fire, and we donated billions of dollars <laughs> yeah. to like the richest company in the world. Yeah. Like, we you guys got to fix that a attic. Billion. Real quick. Yeah, 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 you right had a away. couple, a couple of old artifacts up there, maybe a painting. Yeah, or it two. was all Notre Dame caught on a little bit of fire. It was all over the news for weeks. Australia's been on fire yeah. for yeah. months. Nobody, koalas, I mean, dead everywhere. Yeah. Kangaroos Iggy rotting Azalea flesh. Koalas, and koalas, and koalas <laughs> don't rape kids. So we gave them money. But they do have chlamydia. So do I. Yeah. Yeah, the Catholic Church, dude. They, I mean, they are. It's like dominated, a dominated pedophilia for a long time. <laughs> well, yeah, that I mean, they were like the yeah. fucking bulls in the nineties, dude. <laughs> and they, it is wild. They had a like, run because, like, even in history, like when we talk about like on history, I mean, we did a whole episode on it. Like in three twenty five A.D., the Council of Nicaea. Emperor Constantine just decided what the rules were for Catholicism. Just picked the G because there were like 20 people saying they were Jesus at the time of Jesus. So he just picked the best one. Then they picked what date they wanted to make Christmas. When Easter is. It was all just yeah. marketing. It's like, yeah. what's going to sell the most tickets? Greatest story to ever this sold. Game? Yeah. It's what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you think of, but like the devout 
Catholics are so devout. Like my mother, I'd be like, yeah. She'd be like, why aren't you raising your daughter Catholic? I'm like, well, because they rape kids. Uh, most there was a lot, corrupt, of, there's a lot of money, they, there's know. a lot of pedophilia, and I and I did history research, and this is what it is about the religion. She's like, they didn't rape kids. I'm like, okay. okay. Well, then she'll say she'll say it wasn't that many priests. It was only 20 or 30. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the threshold. Huh? If I said if I said 20 or 30. Uh, preschool teachers, you yeah. know, are raping, yeah. have raped children in the New York area. W what would you, wouldn't you move yeah. your kids to New Jersey? Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah. I'm like, so what's in the church? She's like, yeah. go to your room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when those stories came out, the numbers are like, you're going like, what? what? They're like, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's uh, three, fucking crazy. Three, Yo, when the three four hundred priests. When going, the New York Times the article, fuck did you guys get away with this? The, when the New York Times article came out last year, I was actually in Denver last year. The New York Times article comes out and. Yana said this too. There was about 500 priests between New York and Boston Crazy. just letting out, and there was just a lot of guys just <laughs> opening in that. A lot of garbage men, firemen, cops opening out the newspaper, like, please, I don't want to see my parish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see oh, my yeah. guy. Yeah. I don't want to see my guy because I got blackouts too. I don't want to <laughs> see my guy. I remember my boy Pat Finnegan was just reading, like, yo, did you see they hit fucking, they hit St. Aloysius? That's my church. <laughs> I didn't know they got guys in there. And he's like, I'm going to go take a walk. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, go take a walk it off, babe. And he's like, I remember Father Bill. I'm like, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what Yo, can it it, it kind of is crazy that, like, in general, we give a free pass. Like, sure. it just keeps going. Yeah. You know, it's like. It's conditioned thinking. Yeah, it really yeah, like, is. It's, the Catholic Church is still there. Right. right. Like, and, like I said, still thriving. Would Barstool like, Sports be here if. <laughs> Everyone here was raping kids. Yeah. I mean, well, we still are. So like, <laughs> if, if the public would lead you to believe we are, so whatever. Yeah. 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 No, I, it actually, makes I no actually sense. watched Spotlight very recently, probably over Christmas break. It's a great movie. It's an unbelievable movie. And then I'd forgotten how long the list is at the end. Sure. Where it's like they were massive cover ups found in these cities. And it's like every city in the yeah. world. Yeah. Like every city you've heard of was on that fucking yeah. list. Yeah. Uh, it was great. Yeah. That's why I love Ricky Gervais' Golden Globe speech yeah. when he's like talking about pedophilia and he says like the greatest mm -hmm. pedophile movie Two Popes and like nobody laughs. It's like, yeah, because that's the fucking funniest thing you could yeah. say and it's all true. Right. Right. And it, most it of those people sitting in that deep. audience are pedophiles. Yeah. I, I have a bone. The Gervais stuff was funny. What he said was funny. I don't like the attitude like I don't want to be here. If right. you don't want to be here, just don't be here. Like you said, like five times, I don't care. If your girlfriend says to you five times in seven minutes, I don't yeah. care. Right. You know you're in fucking shit. I agree with you <laughs> she cares. I agree with you a little bit. I think he played that up a little too much. Right. And I, I also, like, was, the jokes themselves yeah. are funny. They yeah. work without that. They I work without the being like, I'm I, above this. It's like, dude, you're. You're here doing it. Just fucking do it. You can say everything you said already yeah. right. without being like the, ah, I don't care about I agree. this. If there's the reaction, be a critique, too, that's the one. Yeah. I mean, he he does this every time. Yeah. And everyone, you know, everyone's like, ah, like all, all the comedians, like, he's so brave. It's like, this is the 20th time he's done an yeah. award yeah. show and said, fuck you, the award show. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, what yeah. he does. It's great. Yeah. They were I like, great yeah. every time, yeah. though. I mean, he's mm. great. But I like what he said. He kind of said what, you know, most hosts wouldn't dare to say. He's like, nobody's watching network television. Barely anybody's going to the movies. Yeah. It's all about Netflix and streaming services. And he said it to an audience that they're not, and, you know, part of that and, and same thing with apple when he was like you know that you guys great. are so yeah. woke because i felt that way at disney world when i was at disney you can't find a plastic you can't find a straw period not one straw in all of disney it's all children and if you do find a straw it's paper i mean it takes my kid 12 hours to drink an orange juice so the paper <laughs> straws are like disintegrating in the copy it's like unbelievable she won't drink because she can't use her fucking hands and disney's patting themselves on the back like we use paper straws we're the best but meanwhile the food is 40 dollars for chicken fingers all they have is high fat high salt food and it's 600 dollars to get my kid's hair done in the bippity boppity boutique to look like cinderella so it's like you'll save the turtles but rape the human Humans, it's all <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It's all bullshit. Yeah. So that's what I liked about it. Did you did you enjoy Disney? I, I saw first of all, shout out you. I think you got on what hot dads of Disney or something. Dilfs like of that? Disney. You I got the on there? I made the Dilfs of Disney you page and lucky somebody came fuck. Somebody came up to me at Disney was like with me, my mom, and my daughter was like, You made the Dilfs of Disney page. Can I get a pick? And my mom goes, what's a DILF? <laughs> so it was just no. quick thinking of what a DILF was. But I was like, Dad, I love fun. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, I love fun. I, lo I, I only went to Disneyland. I went to the fake one once, and that's when I found out about that. Ah. And so that week, I was walking around like, <laughs> putting on my nicest clothes, like yeah. right, so that person. Who is it? Who's who, who's putting me on that page, man? Yeah. That's a huge honor. I took a picture in front of the Magic Kingdom. We posted it to the main page, and then yeah, it got it got posted. But good for you. It's um, I liked it. I mean, I spent a lot of money. It's there's a, something sinister about Disney World with like the sugar and all that stuff, and like kind of the lines you just have to wait. And it's like, is this really fun? Yeah. Are we convincing ourselves are, this is fun? I we went this year, last year, I guess. And it was actually for, we were in Orlando for like an advertising thing for college football. And we were all there. We were like, fuck it, let's hit Disney. So a yeah. bunch of adults went to Disney. And Fine. I didn't see 
anyone having fun there. Like every, no. the <laughs> only time I saw people having fun was when they were like getting off the ride to get to the hotel. No, yeah. like, all right, we're done for the day. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Thank God I can go up a yeah. beer and just chill. Yeah, no, that was and that was that that was when that was when I had chlamydia. So it was interesting. <laughs> to, it was interesting to get the symptoms at Disney, and then I rem I have to go pick up my medication <laughs> that my boy called in. I went and picked up my medication from a CVS like off the side of the highway in Orlando with a goofy shirt on. <laughs> I had a goofy shirt on, and I was like, "Can I have the meds?" And he was like. <laughs> you, do you know what this is for? I said, yeah. He was like, okay. Go. <laughs> Welcome to Disney. We joke, we joke on the hyenas that uh, CVS is Chris's cheers. That's it's my just, cheers. <laughs> just go in there. He walks in. They're like, hi, Chris. You're a regular. Yeah. How you doing? What, yeah. He sits down. <laughs> Your the copay, that's on me. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. I got yeah, you yeah. this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. I'm always in there, guy. Yeah. I'm testing my blood pressure. He I'm getting night well. They just <laughs> toss the bottle to him. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> See you next time, Chris. Yeah. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yo, so <clears throat> History Hyenas is uh, that live show you did, uh, I guess it was several months ago. There was yeah. kind of like a, a highlight reel or whatever. I mean, line out the door around the yeah, corner. Gramercy it, Theater, man. Theater, right? We sold I mean, out Gramercy that's... Theater on, at midnight. So Shit. it was great on a Saturday at midnight. How many people was that? It was uh, close five, to 4,000. Yeah, yeah 4,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a perfect opportunity to lie. <laughs> yeah, reality <laughs> reality is a suggestion. Yeah. Um, it's about 4,000. No, it was like 400. Minus 3,600. <laughs> yeah. 400. But it, was, but it was, and now we're doing a, a new, uh, we're doing another one, maybe in February or March, uh, Gramercy Theater. Um, but it's been like, yeah, it's that podcast is great because like we can talk about history and shit that's uncomfortable, but because it's in the frame of history, it's like what I'm not I'm not like whole stuff with like um uh you know when everybody's mad about Christopher Columbus ripped down the statues. Uh. He you know, he did do bad shit, but really I mean he didn't kill as many Native Americans as smallpox. Mm -hmm. That's the truth that people don't want to talk about. It's like the disease killed everybody. The mm -hmm. disease killed mm -hmm. the Native Americans, not the white fucking settlers. Mm -hmm. They they definitely killed some people, well, they, but so did Indians. They, they made a good they made a good tag team. Listen, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying yeah, no. They definitely did. They disease definitely, was killing them, and then and then the white man was like this. Come on, tag me in, tag <laughs> me in, and I'll finish them off. No, but it's like just a, <laughs> the road like, warriors. You know, people love Gandhi. You know, people love Gandhi, and I. It's great, but he also did have twelve year old wives. So yeah, it's like you right, could say yeah, what you want about guy. history, and yeah. you could fucking blame everything you want. Right. Want on whatever group you want, but the truth is that you're not going to probably like the truth, but it's the truth, and that makes people uncomfortable. So that's the po our podcast. It, number one, it's comedy first. It's all about comedy, so we lead with comedy. But then you're going to learn stuff about history that you can like regurgitate at parties to mm. con to look somewhat yeah. cool. Honestly, I, I figured it out. Really, all you need to know is like two sentences worth of knowledge about everything. That's yeah. it. That's it. All you have to do, you know, well, like, I, if, if you just. 1% more knowledgeable about everybody else yeah. on things. You know, like, I feel like Joe Rogan makes a living off it, which is like, sure. he's, he's so informed enough about everything yeah. that it's like, I'll believe you. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, you know? That's what it is. And I mean, I automatically, you guys are smart now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, it's they know a little bit more about history than me. So, yeah, yeah Chris, you did. You honestly, yeah, probably, I, they're I, geniuses. I know a couple of, like, famous guy quotes, like yep. famous generals Done. quotes. You just regurgitate Done. those and yeah. just be like, That's success it. is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Winston Churchill. <laughs> and then that's it. Blow job. Yeah, I was going to say. And then they fuck you. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Even when, when you have chlamydia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it doesn't matter. We're a, yeah, we're a comedy podcast that does history because we both love history, but we're basically doing the episode with the Wikipedia page up. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is, again, that's one all, fan that's all it takes, us, man. We, one fan called us Wikipedia sluts. Yeah. 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 That was, that's Who is it? Sure. Yeah. You know what? Have you ever donated to Wikipedia? No, no. They, that's the funniest fucking thing. I love that every year when they're like, "Can we have thirty cents?" I'm like, "Get the fuck <laughs> out of here!" <laughs> Wikipedia got me do through people, college, got me through high school. I'm like, yeah. "You want a dollar from me?" <laughs> fuck it you. Makes me, you know, what? I'm gonna go donate to Wikipedia right after this because I'm Yo. starting to feel really. <laughs> they really, really I mean, yeah. that, that, not the Australian who, wildfires. Who who, <laughs> who actually donates? You think? I mean, they must get it, right? I don't. Yeah. I donate. have no idea. Yeah, it's they crazy. have to donate. They gotta make it. If they made it easier, I would donate. The reason we don't donate is like I gotta click. I gotta put my information. Yeah, if in. I can Venmo Wikipedia, then yeah. I'll donate. Yeah, I'll just donate. do it with the fucking Apple Pay. Boom. Yeah. Apple yeah. Pay. I mean, I just pay for everything. I don't Apple care. Apple Pay is so dangerous. I, I, I just know. set money it up for the count. first time, probably like a month ago. Boop, yeah. boop, I have count. no idea how much money in my bank account. No yeah. idea how much money I spent over the last month. It's just like double click this. That let it fly. Yeah, just here. Scan my face and then take my money. Yeah, that's what it is. The uh, what, what's your favorite like uh, history time period? Mine, mine personally. Don't say is, World War Two like a fucking no, no. Like I mean, a I like basic bitch. I like mm. World War Two, but it's the American Revolution, colonial, colonial America, seventeen seventy five area to eight, or like seventeen ninety nine. I fuck, I fucks you, with that. What do you fuck I, with? I really know a lot about that, and I love that. I mean, that part of history is wild. I mean, guys are in you know tights and shoes and wigs. 
fighting. Um, you know, it's our first kind of, you know, the British come in, George Washington. I mean, it's wild, wild fucking times. Everybody's got fumes and full bush. Wooden, <laughs> wooden <laughs> teeth. Yeah, nobody has teeth. Hygiene isn't really a thing no. yet. It's what, and the lies that we've been told about what the American dream is. It's all based on marketing and it's not real and the mighty British Empire, none of this stuff that we know is true. <laughs> it's just nice to fucking read it with a I gun in your, your dick mouth. Away, Chris. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm I was reading this book, seventeen seventy six by David McCullough, and I just had a fucking gun in my mouth. I had a bayonet like they would use in my throat. I was like, if I read one more lie that I was told, I'm gonna let it fly. That is the worst part about getting old is when you're like Wait, everything I learned in middle school is just all a lie. Yeah. It's just a like, lie. It's all just lie. not true. Oh, oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, they just making it up to tell school kids about this. And he's like, oh, when you do the research, you're like, no, that is not a thing at all. And yeah. it's always about, like, like you never, like, the, the crazy one to me was I, I was at a uh, World War II memorial thing uh, over the break as well. And I was just looking at shit and it was like, all about, like, the evil Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor and killed, like, 8,000 troops or 4,000 troops, whatever it was. And, like, just, like, like, like levels of, like, just, like, of a whole building. Sure. About, all about how bad it was. And I was like, you guys didn't even mention the 200,000 we killed? Yeah. 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 Like, like, yeah. In, one, in a minute? <laughs> you didn't even mention? Like, well, yeah, I feel like if you're going to go four floors worth of Pearl Harbor, you should be like, and this is how we retaliated. Yeah. Yeah, Not listen. A great one. When you win the war, you write the you history. Write the thing, yeah. So. yeah, you write the thing. Yeah. I always thought about that. Like, when you think about you hear all those battles, like Alexander the Great, you know, conquering the world. And uh, they say that he was, like, in the front leading his troops. You're going, like, was he? Yeah. yeah. Was he really in the front? I wouldn't be. The most yeah. valuable man, the king. No, yeah. was he really? Yeah, like, nobody, like, gets injured in the front. Like, the kids in the front are just walking to their death. Yeah. I think yeah. about that all the time. Every time there's, like, a mas massive fight scene in a movie. And it's just, like, just Braveheart run. or whatever. I'm like, he couldn't have possibly been in front. No. no. You just die in a second. No, yeah. you survive in the back. George, that's what I like about uh, colonial America because, like, they, it's kind of a little true story. With like, yeah, George Washington didn't fight. He was at the battles, but way in the back, mm -hmm. like two miles away with a telescope, just yeah, being going, like, right, you know, a magnifying yeah. glass, just yeah. being like, yeah, okay, just move that guy over there. Yeah. It's just you could be the baddest ass in the whole world, but if you're just surrounded by chaos, you're going to catch a strike. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to catch a knife dead. in the back or a sword 100%. in the back. 100%. Hand to hand with sword. Nobody's limping back with a sprained ankle. Right. Like, it's fucking <laughs> tough, to, you know. Yeah, it's crazy, it's like those dead. conditions. I slipped in the mud. <laughs> yeah. sure. Would you rather fight in, like, the trenches of World War One? The colonial time or like uh, like like old like Braveheart time. Trenches of World War One specifically was brutes magoots yeah. because I mean, that, I mean the Agent Orange you, you and all that, right? Well like, no well that but also like the dug in trenches where like you would die of like um, you know, dysentery guys yeah. would die. Like there's, um, th there's a great documentary called um, "We Shall Grow Old," I believe it is, and it's, it's colorized, right? Yeah, it's World yeah. War One that's colorized, and then, and then you, f uh, the, the guys would die. A very common thing, people would die. They would have, they would be so weak, and it, there was no bathrooms. It was just like these latrines, these holes. They would, and they would be rise to the top, and they'd be going to the bathroom or puking and lose energy and drown in, sh in shit and piss. Ugh. That's because they, they couldn't have the energy to get their head out. Dude, Chaps was telling me about like um, Chaps is Marine works here and Pussy. he was like <laughs> no. he was talking about how they had like if you meet like a world war one veterans which obviously there aren't many left um, i don't think there's any left yeah i would guess none right world war one no. like, i think two is we're winding down on the twos yeah. winding down on the twos yeah the one veterans would have like a lot of times they'd have one finger left sure because it was and it would be like the pinky or something because they would just their 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 trigger finger would freeze and they just cut it off. Oh. Yeah. And then they start using this one as a trigger finger one, from yeah. the trenches. Yeah. Next man up. Next that, finger that's right up. Boom, next one. Yeah. And and that's like, uh, fucking yeah. ridiculous. They just have Pinky to do coke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't want to get some more energy so you don't drown in the fucking. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, that's the Nazis. I know World War II shit is hacked, but that's what the Nazi secret weapon was. Pervitane. Oh, yeah. It was crystal Pervitane. meth. It was it was modern day crystal mm. meth. They would give the soldiers. That's why a lot of Nazi soldiers, when the war was over and the pervitin effects, because they last a while, they would kind of come to him and be like, what did we do? Right. Why yeah. did we do that? Because he was drugging them and making this super soldier Shit. like they couldn't be stopped it was like true Wake fucking up, zombies like, Fuck, what did we do last night they hung over you like, went down six million jews genocide dude <laughs> damn it yeah. was a rough night <laughs> you have never had a hangover that bad <laughs> that really like whenever you have hangover anxiety it's like well oh, i feel like dude, you want could have been worse it happens man you want to get a brought worse <laughs> 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 can you imagine though fighting out for the american revolution during the colonial period and like 
you see those kids come with those uniforms, like the, the red, red coats, coats. With, like stockings on. Fucking yeah. idiots. It's a good strategy though, because you like you may hesitate to kill them because you're like, those kids look fucking cute. Yeah. Right? Those are cute like, kids. I don't want to ruin that fit. <laughs> Take your shirt off first. It's a well put together <laughs> outfit. Something I learned something interesting about that too. Like just Germanic people in general. German people have always been vicious, and I'm German, fifty percent ancestry.com. German people have always been vicious. The British army hired the Hessians, they were yeah, called, yeah. and yeah. those are German. They're from Germany. Yeah. And so they were just mercenaries. They were hired to fight and kill Americans. That's what they had no cause in the war. They didn't give a fuck. They were paid to go fight. So they came off the shores at the Battle of Brooklyn. It's the first time you saw them. They came off the shores right where we live in Bay Ridge and started killing American soldiers and then cutting their heads off and skinning their faces and wearing them as masks. Yeah. And the British soldiers who were on their side were like, what Whoa! the fuck are these guys doing? Yeah. They're playing the drums we're and just, shit. We just wanted to kill them and we're moving up. We're taking territory. Yeah. They're like, happy Halloween. And they're like, yikes. Yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my high school is built on a Hessian mass grave. So oh, there you go. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Horses, boy. horses sure. in there, too. Pretty good. Horses sure. in there, too. Yeah, or the, yeah. there's that Hessian bloody lake, the bloody lake, where it's like the, all like the, because then the Patriots, American Patriots started killing them and just throwing them into fucking this lake. I forgot. It's like upstate New York, somewhere where it's like 100 Hessians just at the bottom of the lake. They just <laughs> let them, just put rocks on them and let them go. Yeah. And they believe it's a haunted lake, which I believe, too. I believe I mean, in ghosts. That's, that's, that's how I learned is. that. I learned that my high school was built on a Hessian uh, mass grave because my hockey coach who lived on campus was watching um, a documentary or whatever about the 10 most haunted places in Rhode Island. Right. And he, like his fucking house was number one. Really? <laughs> like, he, he's like, what the fuck is oh, yeah. this? All Yo. New England. If you live in New England, it's haunted. But that's where the that's where the Revolutionary War was fought. Yeah. New England, man. Yeah. If we're talking about guys who skinned people's faces and then they died with threw them into the bottom of the lake, that's haunted. Yeah. That's, that's haunted. not a fucking theory. No. That's that's a fact. Even the Headless Horseman, you know, Ichabod, that's a yeah. story of a, that's a Hessian soldier. That's, yeah. that's based oh, off a Hessian soldier. Yep. And yep. The Hessian History Hyenas, baby. <laughs> yeah, the Hessians. I didn't know that. I didn't know about them before we started doing the podcast. They're interesting to learn about because they were of how brutal they were. Yeah. Like if you're in a war, and people are talking about how brutal you are, yeah. when like everyone's killing everyone, you're like, yeah. you're doing some bad, bad shit. <laughs> yeah. Bad. yeah, you're they doing were like next level violence. They were scared <laughs> to fight. That's why just the presence. If like there was a common thing in the Revolutionary War when they would say. When they would, it's interesting too, because like the biggest prize in the Revolutionary War was New Jersey. That's why they call it like the Garden State, because it was like the Garden of America. And now it's like that's the first thing I'd give up is New Jersey. I'm like get the <laughs> no, fuck they, out of here. They got good tomatoes. They, they grow good tomatoes. Good tomatoes, tomatoes and corn. Yeah, yeah but New Jersey. Yeah, but it's just people from New York and Philly. Just yeah, depending yeah. on what side of New Jersey yeah, you're on, yeah, it's like yeah, they yeah. could all. If we got rid of New Jersey, people would just move back to Philly or New York. Yeah, that's so what it is. If someone comes to Jersey from like outside of the New York or Philly area, and they're going. These two sides of people say water really weird, <laughs> <Yeah>. really different. What's <laughs> like, says water? some water and the other one's like would you like some water yeah it's water. water but you but, want water but they would say like when the hessians would come like the soldiers would put their guns down and run away because yeah. it was like because if you really want to learn american history like what the truth is then you have to read the other what side. the other country yeah. that's what i do so the book that i read was about the british point of view or i've read stuff on the japanese on world war ii from japanese and germans point of view so you ever that's, read the one i haven't read a full book i forget what it was from but it was just like the passage about like the people walking out of like Nagasaki oh, and it was just like, right. the, like their skin just like falling oh, off yeah. their body oh, that's brutal like that. we didn't have to do I mean it, we didn't have to do that but we did have to do that because they because because if you were going to the problem why the J Japanese do not give up so you right, got to give right. them the, those kids do not give up they keep fighting so it's either the options were either kill two million roughly American troops to invade Tokyo that would kill everybody that would we would win it but you're going to cost a lot bomb. of allied troops or kill 300,000 of them with a bomb so that's what Listen, they Listen I'm, I'm I was all for just nipping that in the bud and wrapping that shit up. Wrap it know? up. Yeah. Maybe they not two. kept giving I don't them two but yeah. at least one. Kept Come giving on. them opportunities and yeah. then they the second one is the bigger problem. It's like you didn't really have to yeah. do the second one. You could drop like different bomb. Like the, you know, just, one yeah, a little bit couple one. like you know the second one was ones. the bigger issue. The first yeah. one people felt like well you're not giving up and you're you the war is lost and you're not giving up. The second one was running up the score. The second one was a bit like come on guy. Come on, you're up by 30. You're up by 30. Just you know, take LeBron in. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like in the UFC when the guy's knocked out, and then there's that blow that goes on his unconscious face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah. The guy's out cold. Man. Need a ref yeah. to run you in there. Need yeah. to do all that. that. Yeah. But, you know, we just we just put your whole country in the fucking microwave. <laughs> I mean, you know, we don't need to, don't need to do, you don't need to do it again. You don't need to flip it over the other side and nuke it again. <laughs> it's hot. The hot pocket is done. <laughs> Shout out them though. It came back fast. Oh my yeah. god, they came back forty years. Yeah. I mean, no some of it is from the Marshall Plan that we helped them with, but you know. 
but for the most part, yeah, they came back. Yeah, yeah they gave him baseball and they ran with it. Gave him baseball, yeah. <laughs> really? Kobayashi, the fact that he Ichiro talks. is, is fucking is Dude, even a thing, you know? Do you think he's possibly the best baseball player of all time? If you Ichiro? look at his stats, he doesn't get enough credit. Yeah. Especially when you think that he, you say that he started at 27. Yeah. In the yeah. MLB. In the oh, MLB. Because yes. right. Japan, he has crazy stats. Yeah, and people say, oh, the, you know, Japanese league is not that great. But it's like, you saw what he was doing when he came here at 27. Yeah. Just add another six, seven years yeah. to that. He's, be, he's, you be, could, you could he's probably, breaking a lot of records. Had he done it all in in America, I, I feel like he'd probably get more consideration. But I think at the end of the day, just be more of like a like a – Contact hitter, like a single, like a slap single that, guy. Yeah, that's not. You're never gonna get the glamour, right? right. You know? But I mean, he was a, he was speed guy. Yeah, defense. defense I mean, he, he was awesome. Every year. I mean, he's he's unbelievable. He had a yeah. gun. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. What, was, what was his favorite line yeah. about uh, oh, uh, Cleveland? Like, Can- I'd, I'd rather City. kill myself and go to Kansas City. No, it's Kansas City. Is uh, he told us to Bob Costas? It's not oh, as funny good. in English because yeah. yeah. it's a real quote. But the way he said it to, it's hotter in Kansas City than two rats fucking in a wool sock. <laughs> but like right. he said it weird and then yeah. broke yeah. in Japanese, so it's like it was funny. cute. Really, yeah. it was funny. It's actually really fun. That's a, that would probably be very hot. Two yeah. rats <laughs> fucking in a wool <laughs> sock. Dude, being New York and and Boston sports fans, like it's like we're so blessed to have like so much stuff to talk. About and like speak oh to talk about sure well, I'm sorry yeah. talk about but like how much to like love sports and like even like how like we know our athletes because I hosted a show on Netflix called the Ultimate Beastmaster it was fucking whatever uh, but anyway the other the other it was like American Ninja Warrior but the other but the other host was Tiki Barber and Tiki Barber told me a funny story what he said like in like 2000 2000 maybe 2001 they were playing Cleveland the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland and then like they beat the shit out of them and then they and then they went to a nightclub the giants went to a nightclub and they saw members of the browns waiting online to get into the nightclub that they were just walking in the door to like do you guys want to come with us <laughs> like we're not even from this city yeah. and they're like just let them in they're like yeah great like the linemen like Jeez. nobody cares yeah. that's how right. uh, yeah. what was it the fucking miami hurricane back in the day yeah they would have to get the dolphins into the club yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a true story yeah. probably right yeah. wow yeah Seven was in the floor like, crew in like, like come the, with me like that, the 30 for 30 about yeah. that that was like, a great 30 for 30. yeah, yeah. It was like yeah. we had to get like them the heat like everybody was like you. good you Talk to the college football player. The seventeen-year-olds got to get you in the door. That I know. Was, I mean, that was when football you could hit a guy. Yeah. Because yeah. that thirty for thirty, you yeah. see. I mean, I, mean, I forget the, what the, the U was so stacked. It was like a joke. You oh, know? Like God. third string guys were like first round picks. You know oh yeah. I mean? It was like, dude, I, I played Division three basketball at this place called St. Joseph's College in Brooklyn. But for the first year I was there, we were. I was a freshman on the college team, so we had you know full seniors were on the team, whatever. We played at Bishop Lachlan High School, which is like a was oh, like yeah. a basketball factory. And one day, the um, we were pract- we had practice at like five, and the Bishop Lachlan High School team like was late or something like that. So the coaches, the coach at Bishop Lachlan High School, and our head coach of a college basketball team, Division three, but still college, was like, "Can we scrimmage a little bit? We were warming them up for the game for the high school kids." And we're like, "Yeah, whatever. You know, we'll give these kids a try." They beat us by fifty points. <laughs> I mean, so there was 14, 15 year old kids like windmill dunking on yeah. Division three athletes, and then it's like that's how you know you're in D3. There was also a girl on my team, so that's a problem. <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> I played college basketball, but I didn't really. <laughs> Wait, Yo. You played like uh, you played like official. Like you had jerseys and everything. Yeah, yeah. It's and like it was when, a co-ed yeah, team. The parents would bring lasagna and like would ask people like you know certain kids had allergies and shit. So it's just like I you know he'll say like I'm a Division three All American, which is true, but it's really there's a lot of asterisks yeah. to the stats. Yeah. Like I'm the all-time leading scorer in my college, but really, what does that mean? Yeah. 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 Did you do like orange slices and fucking All like juice stuff. boxes afterwards? Yeah, we would have to fucking two, four, six, we would have to Get, we would have to Mom, get. Mom, stop talking to me. We got a big yeah. game against Skidmore on Tuesday. Yeah. Or we would just be sitting there. We would just be sitting there, like outside the locker room while everyone else is getting ready because the girl was getting ready. And then we'd have to go in. So, like, parents would be like, what? Other coaches would be like, why are you guys out here? The locker room's in there. Like, oh, one of our, our power forwards is, in there. One of our teammates is getting dressed. They were like, okay, we're going to beat the shit out of this okay. team. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, sort of told on this podcast a lot, but we had, uh, my, when I played in high school, there was a girl on a different team. Okay. And it was like, like, I was a freshman, she was a senior, and she was good. Like, she wanted to play at BC or PC, one of those, I forget, like a good hockey school. And I was still like, I'm a guy, I'm gonna kick her ass. Still who, jerking off. Who, who cares yeah, if she's got off. a fucking D1 scholarship or it whatever? Doesn't matter. Like, I'll win this. And we're getting up to the opening face off, and she just looks me dead in the eye, and she goes, I swear to God, she goes, eat my fucking box. And <laughs> took the face off, scored like four goals that game. She was a 
powerhouse. Oh my and god! Did you do it? Did you eat a box? <laughs> no, she fucking break my neck. Oh my like god! A UFC type thing, just dude. Like squishing the I dog. remember. I remember. I had an ex girlfriend just a few years ago, and we broke up, and it was really hard for me. But we broke up, and then I found out she was dating the point guard on the Knicks. So I was fucking DMing every li Liberty player I could find. I was like, if you're gonna date the point guard on the Knicks, I'm gonna date the power forward on the Liberty. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll just cover. We're gonna get pegged by this six foot nine <laughs> chick. Six yeah, foot nine girl from the Ukraine. It'd be funny if you continued the competition too. She's like at Le Cirque eating dinner, and you're just on on the bus with your Liberty player because that's all she can afford. That's what she can afford. We're on Spirit Airlines. Yeah, yeah. I remember you guys are a Chick Fil A sharing a sandwich. I remember too. That's what I hate about WNBA. You could just like it, you just see those girls on the bus. Yeah, yeah. They just yeah. Have to the there game, was one. There sad. was one uh, like a viral story recently about. I don't know if it was the Minnesota Lakes or whatever. whatever I forget the name of the team. But it was like they had to get from a game in Denver to Portland or wherever. The, you know what I mean? I don't know. But it took them like 73 hours. They had to do connecting there. flights. <laughs> they connecting flights, but then like the flight the got train, canceled. A bus. So they had to take a bus. It was like, I, got, I, was on, I was on a flight once from Indianapolis back to New York City, and uh, Liberty had played the Indiana Fever in Indiana, and I was on the flight. I was on. It was like a regular bullshit you know, American Airlines flight, and I was sitting coach. With the Liberty and Bill Lambier, their head coach was in first class. Spread the fuck out. Oh yeah, I was like, yeah. That's what you happened? Were, get back there, bitches. Huh? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> but it was crazy. I was like, is this the Liberty? Yeah. And it was them. It was them. That's why I love hearing that. Like equal when women are like equal pay for women's sports. I'm like, name me one WNBA player. Mm. And yeah. then you guys don't watch it, yeah. so yeah. it's yeah. like it's also crazy. And I get it, but it's also like. You missed this season because of pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's nuts. Yeah. It will be, you'll see, like, players out. Like, and I, I get oh, it. It makes sense. It's just crazy pregnancy. to see, like, like yo, oh, pregnant. What yeah. if they play? If they played pregnant, <laughs> that might be the best sport. That, that's of a new all point time. category. That would who's be. The, who's I would watch player? pregnant basketball players. Yeah. Sydney Larue. Sydney yeah. Larue. Uh, she's like a U.S. women's soccer team star. She played like up until eight months pregnant on her. Whatever. Well, women's soccer, women's I can see they they bring in a nice revenue yeah, yeah. for the. They're US. the only ones that have an But yeah. the other ones, it's just business. It's yeah. not. It's not about. I don't think there's not. It's not about money. equality. I'm all about equality, but it's just. I mean, it's a business decision. Mm -hmm. it's business you it's sell the tickets and you get paid. And uh, it's also whatever. Women don't. Women have to start watching it. Stop Nobody yelling watch. at us. Nobody Why watch. are they always yelling at us? I'm yeah. actually stunned every time I do turn it on and I see that there's like a decent amount of people in the crowd. I'm like, yeah. I can't. They got women would rather watch the men's sports. Some of them. Yeah. But you know what? I just never understood why we're getting yelled at. <laughs> you guys are playing. I do. Are, are there not enough women to fill the stand? What are you guys yelling at us? Yeah. The, the interesting argument from like bass, like like NBA guys, I, whether or not they're paid to, I don't know. But they're always there, and they're like, these chicks are good at basketball, and that's when you learn like, I don't really like basketball. I like. Crazy slam dunk. I like yeah. the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't care that they can like they have great ball movement. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's I don't watch, like, I don't watch a European game. I don't give yeah. a fuck about fundamentals. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see someone do something insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just have a dunk contest every time. <laughs> right. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's why I think like the NFL. Did, don't you think they just handled that whole like concussion thing wrong? Yeah. Like they uh, should yeah. just. Yeah. Oh, they're like, done. Yeah. They handle like everything. The Tiger wrong. Woods thing. Like don't apologize. Like Tiger. If Tiger Woods didn't apologize, he would have been fine. Yeah. Like yeah, I like bitches. I'm a fucking millionaire. What's up? I fuck. That's what I do. I cheat. You know. Yeah. I been like I respect. This guy. If the NFL was like, look, that's just what, what happens. Yeah, you're gonna, you know, you may not remember your name in a couple of years. You'll be but on a show on VH1 paid called paid "Where Am I Now?" Yeah, and that's <laughs> it. Even baseball, that's the chances of what happens, what we do. Even baseball, it's like, you know, they're grown men. It's like, listen, make a steroid league. If guys want to use juice, they can do the juice in the steroid leagues. We'll put uh, hockey boards up around the whole thing, and once a, one batter a lineup gets a fucking aluminum bat, and we'll let him hit one seven fifty. And you know, if you kill the pitcher, it's just like what it is. Like, you're, like I just don't understand. This is the game like, we've designed. Yeah. America is so like we don't curse on TV. We don't do that. It's like yo, just what's the fucking yeah, truth? Right. What's you? I hosted the show on a. Uh, MTV called Off the Bat. It was like a MLB and MTV trying to MLB was trying to make baseball cooler, and they put it on Sundays at 11 a.m. I'm like, you fucking jerk offs. <laughs> but anyway, we would ask players. We hosted some <laughs> shitty shows, dude. <laughs> dude, we, oh, I, we hosted dude. the bracket on MSG. We also hosted the bracket right. on MSG, yeah. which was wild. Yeah. That show stunk. It was um, funny too because like uh, we tell them about the time. The oh guy, my god, recognized on the train. Yeah, I was like, I remember we were on the train. I was on the train. It was a construction work. He was like still in his construction gear. He's like a real tough New York guy, and he goes, "Where do I know you from?" And I was like, oh, I don't know. I do comedy. He goes, you host that show to bracket on MSG. I was like, yeah. He goes, it's you and the fat Mexican kid, right? <laughs> and I was like, he's Greek. His name's Giannis. He was like, yeah, hey, he's Mexican. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, because we both were fat yeah, faced we were, fucks back then. Me, I mean, I was a fat kid. Fat, fat. Yeah. But 
But um, you know, I host a show, and I'm we're talking about uh, uh, the rookie of the year, uh, Will Myers, at, uh, from the he was on the Rays, Rays at that time. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he was telling us this great story about how like a girl got up into his hotel room and like was in his actual room, like lied to the uh, concierge. I was like, I'm his sister. I'm his family. Just let me in. Like, I was like waiting for him in like a bra and panties. And he got like so nervous about it that he just went outside and called his mom and didn't do anything. And that was true. It's a great story. And his PR were like, no, 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 no. Yeah. We yeah. can't have That's that. Talk, kind of shit that talk grow, about yeah. his charity. Yeah. Talk yeah. about his yeah. charity. It's like, well, this is why nobody's going to your fucking games. <laughs> so wait, we got to get Will Myers on the show. Then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a good story. I think yeah. it was. It had to be Will Myers. Yeah. yeah That's what yeah. I did in 2014. Unreal. But he was a great kid. Yeah. Unreal. Athletes, they don't let, they don't let you. I, I get it, though. The league has an image. The you know, there's so much money to lose. So I mean, part part of my take our show here, they get everything out of the guys. They're sure. like, and, and it is one of those things where like they, I mean, they're they're both really good interviewers, but like I think it's 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 a big enough podcast now where it's just like, well, whatever they're gonna say is is huge now. It's important. Sure. So you let it go. But they, I mean, they get some of those those stories too that are fucking. Well, because it's like we, I'd rather as a parent, I'm a parent, right? I'd rather let my child know what the truth is about these athletes and about what's going on, and just you make your own decisions as opposed to all these lot. Like you just yeah. make it's like I remember even with the baseball, uh, Big Poppy, David Ortiz, who was executive producer of the show, came on and was talking about. Uh, drinking. He was talking about like he loves Jack and Coke, and the Red Sox like he can't talk. Why don't we just say Coke? Cut the Jack. It's like you know right. he's drinking. Grown right. man. He's, he's a, a drink. fucking drink. Yeah. I mean, he's doing Coke in the <laughs> DR. We know what's going on. So I, it's like shut up. I I hate that. But that's what is beautiful about 2020 and like what you guys do and what we're able to do is like you. We have a platform now. Just like here's what the truth is. Yeah. So shut up with the censored bullshit. Mm -hmm. You can't say poopy on TV. It's like this is honest shit. That's I think that I think it's it's everything's a slow change, right? But I think yeah. for 20. 14 and now I think they've been and maybe it's maybe like like the athletes see because of their personal social media and stuff like that sure. they see the response so they're like yo PR shut the fuck up because I have my immediate PR right here right yeah. and people love this on my own PR right. on my own PR it's like you know and now I'm happy like even in like sports like athletes getting paid in college it's like whatever whatever the bullshit red tape is about you can't pay them to play you can if I'm fucking, you know, some of these high school players that got five million followers, like Bronny James or whatever, yeah. yo, if I'm Coke Zero or whatever company, I'm like, yo, I'll put an ad on that kid's Instagram. Yeah, fuck right. yeah. Fuck, and you can't stop me from doing that. That shit is a business. Yeah. You know? So it's like, I, I, it's changing. You guys I are just about that telling the truth the out here. That's what it is. History I'm just, and fucking I'm just comedy. Telling the you guys are just truth speakers. I'm just telling the truth, but I've lied about everything I've said. <laughs> so, far. so I am telling the truth, but there's a lot of lies. Yeah. That just It's about entertainment. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to be entertaining. Yeah. Whatever, as long as you say convince. Right? I just want you to buy tickets to my yeah, show. Yeah, I was going to say. So where can they get the tickets? <laughs> okay. When's the next shows? All right. Uh, ChrisDComedy.com for all my uh, ticket sales. Uh, for all my live shows, I got uh, uh, Hamden, Connecticut, the Spaceland Ballroom. Um, uh, January 24th, first show sold out. Get tickets to the second one. January 25th, Celebrity Theater, Atlantic City, New Jersey. And then February 8th, ticket sales went, tickets went on sale today. Uh, the Kennedy Center, Washington, D.C., February 8th. What about you, you fat Mexican? <laughs> yeah, fat, you can come see the fat Mexican at Gotham Comedy Club, February 20th. 21st and 22nd and Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, February 28th and 29th. Get tickets. And also HistoryHyenas.com for everything yeah. History Hyenas, our podcast, Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys to be part of the matriarchy and truly see the wild shit. <laughs> History Hyenas. History Hyenas podcast. Thank you, bro. Um, Thank you, guys. You guys are fun, fun as always.